Our other big story tonight, a standoff in Fairfax County that kept the neighborhood locked down comes to an end finally after a full day. It all unfolded, unfolded rather on Lyle Avenue in Falls Church with two, an armband and two others inside a home. Jay Corf live now on the scene with a dramatic conclusion. Jay. Well, Leon, tonight a tactical team quickly entered that home after losing communications with those inside. Now, the man suspected of starting this standoff in the first place, he was found inside the home by this tactical team with critical injuries. Authorities say from a self-inflicted wound. The good news, his son and another woman who were inside the home are okay. A day and a night of fear and anxiety finally ended Wednesday when the woman in this red shirt and an eight-year-old boy came out of a Falls Church home that had been the focus of a tense 24-hour standoff. It was definitely strenuous, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically on everybody involved and for the police. Inside the house, authorities found the boy's father, who was critically injured from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's unbelievable. We thought this is a very safe neighborhood. Now it's like, even though it's domestic, you know, it's scary. Police say it all started Tuesday at around 6.30 p.m. when a domestic dispute between an estranged couple over the custody of their eight-year-old son led to gunfire. Authorities say the male suspect fled into his home where he joined his son and another woman. For reasons authorities won't discuss, all three would not come out. County and state SWAT teams moved in. Off and on negotiations ensued in a neighborhood paralyzed by this standoff. At some point, uh, communications between the people inside the house and the police ceased. That's when a tactical team moved in and found the suspect struggling to survive. His son and the woman were rushed to a local hospital as a precaution. Relieved residents are grateful the standoff is over. I kind of felt that they were waiting so long that they would have maybe come out a little differently, maybe quietly and get him and just apprehend him, but that's very surprising. Police are not identifying any of those involved in this standoff. We do know that uh, if the suspect survives, he's listed in critical condition at this hour. He would face some very serious charges. The woman that he, that police say he allegedly shot, she remains also in critical condition. Live in Falls Church, J. Corf, ABC 7 News.